I want to ask you I this question. Don't be like this gently, okay? <laughs> it's okay if you. <laughs> I enjoyed playing it. It it was a very dark, very very dark character to play. As an actor, I want to be versatile. I did something called the dopamine fast. Okay? Again, very curious. I want to do all these things. And the kind of messages that this person sent me, anyone who reads it would would shiver. Very pista I used to think, yeah, yeah, anyone does anything to me, ah, avladha, avladha, raud. But at the moment varumbodu. Man. But it's a great interview with great food, so I'm happy. <laughs> so am I. with me the stunning regina kesandra oh thank you yenu or style ana name ye or british name abhi sandra mathi enak irukku ipo everyone ask me goa 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 na ninga you will ninga by the way we have to do this in english oh yes correct 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 thank god yeah. i think i have my mom to thank for that because uh, there is there is a story behind my name um, oh. yeah I mean, the, the world needs to know please tell us oh the nation wants to know yeah <laughs> so basically i was born a muslim My name, my, my name, my name was pretty different. It's called Razina mm-hmm. till I was six years old. My mom's a Christian, and my my biological father happened to be Muslim. That was my name for the longest time. And then well, they got divorced, and after that, my mom wanted me to follow some religion. So uh, she, since she was a Christian, she said, "This is the only religion I know, and I would like for you to follow it." Uh, she wanted me to have some path like that in life. So when I got baptized, uh, I had to change my name. So uh Regina is actually Mother Mary's name in right. the Queen right Regina Queen right. in in Italian uh so Mother Mary is like her favorite right so she wanted me to have Mother Mary's name okay. and Cassandra Cassandra came about uh because my mom was a big fan of Mills and Boone See I knew somewhere that would come okay <laughs> So one of her favorite novels, and all of them are the same. One of her favorite novel character from one of the novels uh, happened to be Cassandra, and she felt like it had a good ring to the whole thing. So she said Regina wow. Cassandra. I was baptized. And, and aren't you so happy about that name? Ah, uh, I have mixed feelings because sometimes people kill the name like it's like I'm like my. the chain is never used to know that tell us what is what do you get called as i mean i still get i called get, get called rezina they change my my religion is again right i get called rezina rajni rajni ah uh, uh, yes 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 <laughs> rajna <laughs> Regina 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 no name what is Regina such a beautiful name don't spoil it it's regina wow. cassandra yeah regina cassandra yes Okay, <laughs> now that we have arrived at the name. <laughs> yes, and you are arriving. At and we are getting food. Oh my God, guys! And what am I seeing on your plate? Biryani. Biryani. I'm not watering. I just can't believe it. But and everybody has to believe it. I've got I'm rice. I'm, no, no, I'm not having curd rice. It's Next. plain rice with stir fried oh, vegetables. Oh, nice. Yum, 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 yum. Yeah. Yum, yum, yum. So contrary to what most people think, women in the media do eat. Do yeah. eat rice. Yeah. Do eat full plates. Yeah. Uh, do you have there any thoughts? There was a time when I finished. Um, maybe the box was a little smaller than this, a little less. I finished one entire biryani. Oh. Yeah. And when was the last time you had biryani? Okay, we'll eat from this or what? I'll, can yeah. I use this plate? Please use a plate. I'm going to put this in here. Yeah. When yeah, was the last plate. time you had biryani? I was at. <laughs> this is that you... interesting because no, no, I'll tell you. I was just so very interesting. The biryani that I had. Huh. I was at the Cannes Film Festival recently, okay. and uh, the India Pavilion mm. had biryani balls. Oh. It was damn nice. It's mutton biryani, like you know, aranchi. Like they have these. Uh, it's like fried ball, and they'll have like some rice thing in it. They had that. It was so good, and I didn't think the next day I'm craving biryani. I'm like, oh God, where, where, in, where in France am I going <laughs> to get biryani from? But it was that good. It was really, really good. So yeah, that was the last time I had a bite of biryani. Okay. But before that, uh, basically, biryani is it like your go-to cheat meal, or is it something you? It's like a normal food for you. I don't consider anything a cheat meal as such, mm-hmm. unless it's like really like fried and laden with like you know um, unhealthy stuff. Oh my God, this is the most uh, <laughs> torturous thing to eat <laughs> right now. Yeah, I'm um, uh, cheat as in I love a lot of chocolates, but I like dark chocolate. I mean, still, it's not like dark chocolate is very healthy. Or but it's anything. relatively healthy. Healthy. Relatively healthy for sure. Yeah. Relatively being the word. <laughs> relatively is use. the word. Yeah. You can't have like ten uh, uh, pieces of dark chocolate and be like, ah, I'm still being healthy types. But yeah. 
So then um, your cheat meal happens to be something on the desert area. It has to be desserts. It has to be any dessert actually. Like, okay. I have no uh, qualms about desserts unless it's not made well. <laughs> then uh, how, how do you maintain yourself? That would be my... Wow, what is that thing? I, it's just uh, like a uh, thank you. Literally just like saying thank you for putting food on my plate today. Very beautiful. Especially my favorite food. So Very beautiful. Something to learn. Inspiring. Yeah, and I'm not doing this just for the camera, okay? I'm, I'm just sure letting you know. So, yeah, yes. tell me, how, how do you maintain yourself? I mean, it's the biryanis and the dark chocolates. What's the regime you follow? I, um, so my body is actually funny in the sense that uh, it takes shape really fast, whatever the shape is. It could be this, it could be this also. Um, but it's like, if I eat a lot uh, and I'm not working out at all, and if I'm having a very sedentary lifestyle, mm. then... It'll show. Okay. And I, when I put on weight, I look like a, like a bigger person. I don't look like a fat person. Okay. Um, you look muscular. Like, not muscular as such, but my legs will look bigger. Okay. So I look like a broader person. Right. And I have really broad shoulders. I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm more of a box shaped person. I don't have like an, you know, like your curved, this thing. So, um, so when I don't do anything, like say for at least two, three months, then I can see like that difference. But when I, but. For me, I just need to be active mm -hmm. and I'm fine. You don't control food? I don't like to control food because when I try to, then I feel like I'm just unnecessarily putting myself under uh, certain restrictions. But if there's a role that I have to work towards and if mm. I feel like... So there's a time I was shooting for this film called Yevaru. Okay. Yeah, beautiful film. What a film that is. Thank you. Negative role and kicked yeah. it. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so... When I was shooting for Yevaru, my amazing executive producer would come every day with some some chocolate or something or the other, okay, like chocolate spread and this and that and we would make sandwiches on set and we'll all be eating. Not like only I'd be eating, we'll all be doing it, but I'll also be eating. Okay? Right. <laughs> so there was this time when I put on a little weight and my, my DOP came and told me, uh, Vamsi came and told me, uh, Little bit, it is showing here, it is showing. <laughs> and I was like, ah, da, 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 da. So I went and I worked out and I made sure that I didn't like, like lose that, that thing, you know. So right. for me, it's not, for, at the end of the day, uh, one is to stay healthy. Like that's your main priority. And I'm a healthy person. Right. I'm not like, a, I just don't let loose like that. Uh, and the second thing is, um, uh, I need to look good because my job demands that I look good. And I can't look at myself on screen. And be like, oh, it's jiggling, the fat is jiggling, you know, like mm -hmm. literally. So those things motivate me to to make sure I stay on stay on track. On track. And anything, I'm a, I'm a actually a very active person. So I either go for treks if like, if I'm shooting in a in a place like Kutralo, mm. I'm going for walks every day, or uh, jogging every day, going doing some hill running, doing this, doing. Pool. You were a champion or something, right? I know I played basketball in school and stuff. Even now I go. Uh, when you say champion, not really champion, I won like a stand-up paddle race. Yeah, I'm ocean. aware of this. Yeah. <laughs> in the ocean when we had a race recently, Surf Turf had organized a race like last year, I think. So that's what I did. Uh, so in general, if you put me in, in a sport environment and if I have to learn a sport, my body can adapt. Yeah, okay. Take one mouth before. No, I I, I'm not letting you uh, eat, so I'm <laughs> really sorry about that because I'm bombarding you with questions one after another. Brinalini Sarabhai was um, refreshing to watch, uh, played by you, the Bharatnatyam dancer, and how you portrayed the role and the kind of importance given to you uh, in the series. Do you somewhere think that now, again, we're meeting for OTT? That the OTT platform is breaking those barriers which you had as an actor to explore a lot more new roles and get more scope to perform versus what it was during the silver screen time. Yes, I'm very happy for OTT because finally now all the and this is not to put anyone down or not to be I'm not being derogatory in any way. I'm only saying it as it is. On OTT, everyone wants to now make a pan-Indian show mm. and you can't have a pan-Indian show without bringing in everyone from all parts of the country. True. In lieu of that, people want now people from the south, they're actually looking at actors from down south yeah. and you know, they're actually making that, bridging that gap between these two things. So much so and it's now in the nascent stages of it happening, like it's now only started, so much so I still get asked like, 
oh would you like to be known as a south indian actress or a pan indian actress and i'm like i don't care <laughs> but thankfully coming back to your question thanks to ott there's work for everybody. everyone yeah be it your technician be a cast or crew or whoever you know and that's really good to see true whatever be the reason at the end of the day it's good to see because finally we're all we're all able to explore and i'm doing so many hindi ott shows now lovely because of this one thing and i'm happy i'm absolutely happy and uh, yeah you're right so now when it comes to anya's tutorial uh, this is a important uh, series again when it comes to your lineup what is your character like in this <clears throat> i'm really glad that arka has also forayed into the yeah OTT which is space. a huge production bahubali great so happy well my character's name is madhu okay and she plays um Lavanya's older sister, mm. <clears throat> and when Samya and Pallavi narrated the the show to me, I loved it. I loved it from the word go. Mm. Um, I was like already visualizing what Madhu would look like. How do I get her angst on on the screen? How do I make For me, always when for me it has always been this way. Always been driven by this. The look of the character is as important as how much I'm pouring into the character. Right. Um, because for anyone, and this we it's it's visual arts at the end of the day, right? So for anyone, the moment they see Madhu, there was a there was a vibe that I wanted them to get. Okay. And hence, I wanted to have curly hair. I wanted to have this very lean, um, sun sunken. face that was all your call yeah 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 okay i mean it was my addition to it and and they agreed to it okay. like it wasn't the call as such it was the contribution put yeah. to the whole thing um and um, it it so mathu was basically this this girl she, so it, the, they they are a family of 3 mm. mother and two daughters and um, they grew up in a very secluded environment um for reasons that will will unravel through the show and um she takes on the burden of so since she's the older sister she's between the mother and the younger sister okay so she takes on the burden of the mother of the younger sister the financial stress um everything that goes on in the house how if she tries to handle it might not handle it the best way okay but that's madhu okay and in her in her thing everything that she did was for the right reason she is a pretty like a strict older sister mm. pretty radical in her um behavior all of that so i enjoyed playing it 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 was a very dark very very dark character to play and that's something i it's like literally like i as i said this before so like literally eating like you know the best biryani like <laughs> you would like you would just like be into it right so every time i was in the character of madhu i felt like i was like enjoying my meal sort of a feeling Beautiful. you know if i had to like do you an analogy it would be that um i had a list of songs that i loved listening to um not every day i would do it though once in a while um listen to these songs to get into the madhu's mood mm-hmm. um to to have that flavor um can you name one song just just intrigue because a lot of actors keep saying that we listen to songs for setting us into oh, this yeah, mood yeah, sorry yeah um i mean it's an english song one of the songs it's called my witch it's by moderator okay um um just the the lyrics of the song uh so w- what happens when you listen to a song like that how does it really help you with the process again it's about visualizing it right so there's a this the lyrics make you feel a certain way and it's so i mean it's normal right when we're normally listening to a song also suppose there's a really nice like say for instance an elia raja song that's being played uh you immediately go into one mood right and yeah. even when you're sad uh and you're not in the best of moods and you play and especially when you're sad this works so well you play a song da 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 you start to cry so true right so true so it's it's the same feeling that's taken there and put here i use it at work sort of super okay so you have a like a sort of a playlist for every character which you would 
Yeah. Three. Yeah, because see, as I love music, mm-hmm. like music is a big part of my life. And uh, so when I when when I'm listening to music, I I keep these songs, I save them, and then when I listen to a character, I'm like, okay, okay this song will be nice, and you know. And sometimes when I listen to a song before I've said like thought, okay, it'll be good for this character, the character comes into my head. Very. But cool. these are very like small, minimal things. You don't think about it. it. Happens organically. Yeah, it just happens. You're not searching for it, or you're not like, okay, okay, now I have to pick a playlist. Okay, let me see what songs, or let me. No, it's just like stuff that you already know that you put together. It's not something yeah. you're paying so much attention to. Since you played, you were you're saying about the dark character that you played uh, in this, and we've also seen you in Yevaru doing a negative shade. It makes me ask, uh, want to ask you I this don't question. Don't like generally okay. <laughs> it's okay if you. <laughs> Basically, do you try to position yourself in a certain way, like? you're doing a negative role you're doing a mainstream role and then you do a song there's so much happening with you do you have a strategy do you have a goal this is how i want to be perceived or it's just about good roles coming your way as an actor yes there is a certain way i've always wanted to be perceived and that has always been since day 1 okay always been that i want to be versatile mm. i want to not have to only play one certain role or one type of character one shade or whatever i want my character to have multiple layers i want and the best part of this whole thing was when rocket boys had released the trailer had released and before the show had released jan 4th sana kashtam had also released it's like my celebration song item song whatever you want to call yeah, it yeah the recent one in acharya right yeah, it, was the, it was the special number that i did in acharya i know and um that had also released simultaneously so i had one rocket boys trailer on one side and i had me making doing every other thing on the other side <laughs> and that was the beauty of it for me right i was able to do this and that and stand my own ground this is what you want then Yeah, and that's exactly how I want it to be. Super. I want to be able to do a ninja mark with the lay, and I also want to do a party. But wh- why do we see the difference in languages so distinctly? Like you're so choosy and noteworthy characters, which you do with a lot of gap in Tamil, whether it's Rajendra or Manavaram or a ninja mark with the lay, or the recent one you did with Vijay Sethupati. Yeah. But it's like well placed, a long gap between each other. Versus Telugu, where there are quick films coming by. Um, the thing with Telugu is maybe the offers that I'm getting are a lot, a lot more um, vast than the ones that I'm getting here. And there are, I mean, actually no. In fact, in Tamil, it's a lot more different mm. than it is in Telugu. Telugu, I'm still. Um, if you ask me for two films, or and Hebrew are two very different films. Right. And uh, it's also like that over there. It's just that I do a lot more work in Telugu than I do in Tamil. Um, I don't. I don't. there's no reason particular reason as to why that happens it's just and my life has always been like that there's no there's never been a this is the this is the plan that is the plan no um it's always been okay these are the things happening these are the things happening what do i want to pick and choose i'm not thinking is this 5 years later going to lead to this or this 5 years later going to lead to this because even i don't know 5 years later i'm going to lead anywhere or not. you know what i mean very so true. for a moment This seems like a great decision because this 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 works. Is that a good decision? It doesn't work. Bad decision. No. So it's been like that. It's been like take it as, as it, it comes. comes. Like go with the flow has been something that I've always, always like uh, done. So that's very cool. Have you realized that since Kandanal Mudal today? Mm-hmm. It's been 17 years of you in the industry. Like while people keep uh, <laughs> celebrating uh, uh, the heroines ism, I think that we should start hashtag Regina Cassandra ism. Please, <laughs> I'm very happy without it. <laughs> I'm living very happily without it. So you're um, like this silent hustler. Why didn't you even like make an announcement about your 15 year completion or? Uh, You never brought it out. It's been seventeen years, dude, <laughs> and we never even realized it until when I, I searched think, about you. Because that's not what I want people to talk about. But it's a huge achievement. You came in as a splash TV yeah. anchor, if I'm yeah. not wrong, yeah. and then into supporting roles. Now a mainstream heroine who's doing Bollywood, who's doing Telugu, Tamil. You've done Kannada. 
So this is a huge achievement when you look back at Thank this you. journey. Thank you. <laughs> Most welcome. Congrats firstly. Thank you. <laughs> How does But it feel? It feels really good. Um uh I feel very blessed. It hasn't been easy obviously. Of course. Every day is a new day. Yeah. Even if it's 15, 16, 17 years later, every day at work is a new day. But you learn so much and you learn how to handle a new day. Right. right i don't give that much importance to these things mm-hmm. maybe there's something i need to work on if i was telling a friend of mine as well celebrating something has never been a thing for me it's just about oh my god good job yeah okay okay let's do this okay okay let's do this okay okay we have to do that better we have to do that better it's never been like in fact only during the pandemic which is really funny uh in i had moved out of my mom's place to my own place in 2018 mm-hmm. and i was never at home i was just always my neighbors also never seen me they only knew regina lives in the building but they never <laughs> seen me okay and some of my neighbors happened to be my juniors from school oh, wow yeah we uh, lovely place anyway so 2018 august that i moved in only in 2018 yeah and only in 2020 march when all of us had to sit at home did i actually sit at home and take in everything that i had done so far so all these years that whatever i had worked for it's only during the pandemic did i physically and mentally sit down and put it all together okay and how did that go it felt so good like i actually finally felt like okay you're taking into consideration all the things you've gone through and now you have everything that you've wanted for sure Uh, I'm a very simple person, very very simple. I love the basics, but I also like my brands and all that. It's not like I don't, but in life I'm very simple. Simple thoughts, simple things, simple everything. Right. It felt so nice. I'm so happy that I could sit back for a year or even two years if the pandemic went on for so long and that's not working. That I didn't have to worry or yeah. stress yeah. about shit. I need to work because if I don't. then maybe financially or maybe mentally or maybe whatever i was ve- people say things like after two days of not being able to of not working i'm feeling restless i don't have those issues not anymore i never had you've issues. never had despite being so busy all the time from the young age i always wanted to have a break <laughs> so when the pandemic hit i was like flat <laughs> <laughs> Now no one is working, so no one will call me and say you have to do this, you have to do that. I'm like good. I will not get any calls for some time. I can imagine. So I mean, but that's because I was privileged enough to do it. Yeah. And I worked hard for it. It's not like someone came and said, "Here, take this. This is your life. You can sit with one." Oh know? yeah, yeah, yeah. It, I worked hard. Hence, it felt so good that I could. I didn't even have to feel bad about sitting and not doing anything. The whole day, I would wake up and do nothing. You know the beauty of doing nothing. It was during the pandemic. I mean, not to go off track. No, no, tell us. This is interesting. <laughs> But I did something called the dopamine fast. Okay. Okay. Again, very curious. I want to do all these things. So the dopamine. So you know what dopamine is. Yeah, right? the, the high yeah. effect. The yeah. Energy. And and dopamine is basically secreted in the brain. Brain. Sorry to give you a, a very lame and this thing. Secreted in the brain when you do a pleasurable activity. Like a workout or anything. anything. Even it's eating your sweet. Like one mouth of that sweet and you. dopamine is coming yeah. out i wanted to know what it is to have absolutely no uh, uh, uh secretion or you know have uh, no pleasurable activity and see what it would feel like studies have said that you can't you can't do anything about the secretion and all of that but if you reduce it then you don't have to keep searching for pleasurable activities to do to keep increasing, increasing the secretion it, right So this, I went one day without phone. Hmm. Obviously, so then no internet, no no music, no reading. Television. No television. Okay. No talking. Oh. No contact. No nothing. So basically, nothing, nothing, nothing. Hmm. I woke up. You can drink water. You can't even drink coffee and all. You can't have any caffeine. Water. Um, basic food like you can eat like I don't know like curd rice or something very basic. Okay. Okay. And through the day, I did it only for twenty four hours. So maybe that's why I was able to do it, and uh, like so you can't know there's no alcohol, nothing. You can't know anything. Why would you put day. yourself through things like this, <laughs> lady? I wanted to know what it feels like. Okay. Like you know what what would I do through my day? And I was in a like the only time I could do it was in the middle of a pandemic. Yeah, that's true. Because I'm never going to get the time to do it at all. So I said, might as well try it. 
So I told everyone, I told, obviously told everyone, you guys, listen, I'm keeping my phone away because I'm not, I want to try this thing for one day. And everyone was so curious how I did it. Like, ah, how did it go? How did it go? <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was amazing. I walked around the house. I attended to my plants. I just chilled. I relaxed. I meditated. Spent time with myself, with my thoughts. Slept for a bit. Woke up. Just walked to my terrace. Sat on the tank for like two hours. Wow. Doing nothing. Doing nothing. Staring at the moon. Thinking. Doing things. Just being. You know they say this is a very just good being. thing to do. They say it's a very, very good thing to do that one must do spending time with yourself every yourself. single day. Yeah. yeah. I love that. I absolutely love it. Like, like when I'm alone at home, which my friends don't let me be, <laughs> everyone will come home because I'm at home very rarely. Right. But when I'm at home, I just love being by myself. Like there'll be times when now, now, I mean, sometimes you just get lost on Instagram. <laughs> You'll be going. Yeah. But there are times when there's just absolutely nothing. And I'm just like sitting outside and looking at the trees, the tree swing. Like people might think I'm mad, but it's actually a beautiful thing to do. The tree swing, the breeze, the clouds, the birds, the everything, because it's just beautiful. It is. Um, to be present is tough. Because your mind is always wandering and like this is something I believe in like the mind is a muscle at the end of the day your brain is a muscle like the rest of your muscles but we overuse it. Yeah. We are not supposed to be thinking so much. Yeah. Like we shouldn't be. It's not like you're doing push-ups all the time, right? Imagine if you're doing a push-up all the time, your, your biceps are gonna go fat. Absolutely. Your, your this thing, um, uh, tendons will fat. But we don't realize that about the brain because it just keeps going. But that's what leads to a lot of stress. That's what leads to anxiety. That's what leads to a lot of other things. I mean, it's not the only thing. But we don't realize that we need to stop thinking. Yeah, even even multitasking isn't necessarily a good thing to do. It's better to do one thing one at a time. One thing at a time, yeah. That, that's what I can't. I mean. have to learn how to do one thing at a time. <laughs> it's damn funny. I'll be doing one. I'll pick up something for one thing and I'll walk and I'll see something. I'll take that also along with me and I'll go to place it in two different locations. Yeah, but you're not alone. All of us keep doing that. We say what these things. Exactly. How much can we yeah. practice yeah. this, right? No, but but you know what? One thing I've realized is when you are aware of your actions, like I'm so aware of the fact that I'm taking this one thing and I'm also taking this other thing. I know I'm doing it. But I tell myself, okay, do it properly at least if you're doing it, you know what I mean? So I feel like whatever it is you're doing, whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, the moment you're aware of it, you'd be able to do it better. Absolutely, I agree with you. That's that's a lot of... Like how I'm aware of my you. biryani waiting Yeah, for right now. And <laughs> it's because of the interview that uh, we're pausing and eating with mm. like so... <laughs> niche and <laughs> but it's a great interview with great food so i'm happy so am i <laughs> now let's talk about that 17 years which i was mentioning because <laughs> somewhere when you started you said that the journey wasn't easy right so i i want you to please go back to it for me and i'll, I'll ask you certain phases of it mm. just remember and tell me or mm. what you how you dealt with that scenario mm. like this industry is full of men Mm. You are left as a woman alone and mm. the time you started it would have been even more difficult to handle men around you mm. in an industry like this. Mm. How did you manage that? Interesting question. But um, the thing with me is I always believe again, believe in a lot of things. <laughs> what you portray is what uh, people can read. Right. People can read energies, whether they know they're doing it or not, they can. People understand. And for me, all through my life, whether it was acting, not acting, it's always been about the kind of perception I am portraying. Mm. Because for me, it has to be, it's black or white for me. Okay, it's, it's done. Um, fortunately, I've never had to deal with different situations in the industry. But I can tell you about the stalker situations that I've had twice in my life. Please, what is this? Is this online stalking or people you no. know who are stalking you? No, I don't know them. Okay. So one happened recently huh. and one had happened uh, in 2013. Okay. I had gone to Isha Yoga mm -hmm. and uh, there was someone over there who actually followed me one entire day at the yoga center and I didn't know about it and I would come to Hyderabad after my I spent three days. That's a beautiful place. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, my I've god. And I and I and I volunteered to do everything. I volunteered in the temple. I volunteered to serve food. 
so we had to clean the place the plates serve people all of that so it was a very enriching experience okay right. and the dhyana lingam even more so i come back to hyderabad and suddenly on twitter i see these tweets sent to me hmm. not even dms tweets like whatever this person has definitely created an account and started tweeting to me telling me everything that i did on one day oh my god right from what i wore oh my to god. where i went and for a second over there i was just like and my mind started racing to if i've seen this person or not not because i'm a very sharp person when i'm in public if there's a phone here taking a picture i know that that person's already taken the phone out and i'm looking and i'm like don't waiting to see if that's for me or not because like, sometimes you can't assume like that so i'll notice i'll see i'll let them take the picture then i'll walk up to them i'm like give me the phone and i'll delete the picture okay oh god so i do these things when i can so i went back to see and i remember seeing a person i remember seeing one guy in a red and black like red kachum with a black like kurta top and i had actually asked this person for soap because we were cleaning the temple so they, we were washing the temple cleaning the vessels and all of that and i had asked asked him for soap to wash my hand and that was the visual i had of this person you know exactly definitely that the 100% okay okay and i was like wow and this person for the longest time for about a year would tweet to me saying oh you know we were past life this and past life that and it was weird it was so weird i'm like wow okay and then it stopped i mean this person is still around definitely because i do get tweets once in a while now it's become very erratic you made him a hero right now today <laughs> there's another one there's another one that happened recently okay this is one person on instagram i mean i don't know if i should be saying it or not cuz now they'll know that i actually see their <laughs> messages but um, you know on these request messages that yeah yeah have, the dm request yeah people are always sending you stuff messaging or tweet or the or, creepy uh, messages no people are norm- normal whatever whether it's creepy or creepy it really doesn't matter okay it's a part and parcel of my life and i i think i've accepted that in a good way in a gracious way um but this one person's messages stood out because it was in capital letters and um so much so that now i even knew that this and and, and abusing me like abusing calling me their wife abusing me one day lands up and this person is not from this country okay it's from some other country that's what we assume no 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 i'm telling you okay because this person told me where they from what time it is there like ah. ev- so every time i went for the reason why I, why I, this i had opened these messages first of all in the first place was because uh it was all capitals and every time i went to the request uh, mm. this thing this person's message would have just be there because just 3 minutes ago they would have sent me a message oh so like that so every time i went whenever i went i would, I would go once in 5 days or yeah, yeah. randomly like right? free yeah so i was like oh okay so this person was constantly there and one day i was in bombay recently and this my friend calls me and says hey there's a there's a guy and his mother that's here to meet you from so and so place and they want me to give you things and his mother what's happening congratulations <laughs> shut up so i was just like holy mother of god i got scared yeah it is it's very scary you are talking about big incidents i'll tell you i'll be in satyam theater during the interview i'll be like hey i'm just two rows behind you hi oh <laughs> please i just want to go at home. least that is okay that's fine like there is fans i mean i know i'm renting the public place obviously right Yeah, yeah, but it's it's just scary, I right? Just, yeah, I, I, I can feel you. you I understand. Oh, I am someone. I am, and people watch me. People. It, it's not comfortable because end of the day, so you true. might be a woman alone walking on the road, doing things, driving the car, yeah. and it it is scary. Even if your intentions are positive. So, okay, wh- yeah. How do you cope up with this? Tell me, like, this is common. This is for film personalities. It's even more. but this is common even for a normal girl going to an office what do you do about this do you ignore does it bother you in general i'm someone who ignores situations if i can't find a solution to it okay also depends on how grave the situation is right um i can't just say that for every situation but at a time like this i i I instead of stressing about it, obviously at that time, at that moment when my friend sent me, she sent me a video of this person in the house, okay, because they were right there. Ah, what did he do then? And when she said this person from so and so place has come to see you, I'm wondering who, which person, what person, how person, why person. The moment she sent me this video, 
and i know this person from the messages uh. and the kind of messages this person sent me you you if you, anyone who reads it would would shiver okay i'm sorry you're going through all uh, this no it's okay i mean i understand it's a part and parcel of my life and I, like i said i've graciously learned to accept it 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 will come and i don't have a choice if i want yeah. to do what i want to do i have to also be able to deal with this and i'm happy dealing with it like every other thing that the industry brings along right? and the comments do you read them does it bother you or you're just like yeah i did i sent it to a friend and they said this is so disturbing and i'm like and this is my this, is, this was my reply to them i said it is disturbing and not at the same time because just look at it it is so it's so like it's life it's different yes i've never seen something like this ever but i can't keep thinking oh and getting overwhelmed with it like it is life dude it's reality it's my reality like i said it's a part and parcel of my job and um, and yeah how to deal with it um uh something like this i'm just grateful that i don't have to deal with it in person this is not something that's happened to me in person but there have been times when when a guy just the other day we were talking about my friends once we, when i was in college this guy is lashed out on ega theater bridge mm-hmm. we were walking these two guys were coming in the opposite direction he lashed out and did this to me and kept walking and my friends were there like they could see it nice. and i turned and i started yelling at him and when i want to yell at someone <laughs> Tamil will not come out of my mouth. Okay, all the A's and the B's in English, and then I'm thinking, oh, Tamil also I have to shout at him. So I'm saying all these other words in Tamil, and my friends are like, why are you shouting at him? Go after him. I'm like, but I can't move. Like my feet are like planted to the ground. I don't know why I can't move. And that's when I realized, shit. I when I'm very up, this is in college. Like when I'm very up, I used to think, yeah, yeah, anyone does anything to me, ah, all that, all that, round. But at the moment, it was good. Man, I was like, holy shit, this is what it feels like, or what? Yeah, yeah. And then you're thinking, oh, why didn't this girl stand up for herself? Why didn't she stand up for herself? When you realize, you're in shock. You don't process it till till it happens. Yeah, till still la- much later, right? Mm-hmm. Um. That sort of a situation happened to me twice. One this thing and the same thing at the other bridge. One guys hit my butt. Okay. These are all pre-acting days. Um, yeah, I had just done a, my Canada film and all of that. So it was I was in like a known face. Okay. Right. I was after Kandanal Mudal. I was in college, but no one really noticed. Even now, also when people look at me, I also they're like, seriously? Yeah, Even yeah. now? Yeah, yeah. Because I look different outside. Like you can't. And then suddenly people are like. You are me or and if i wear makeup yes 100% people But are like you know the other thing is you don't have an entourage with you all the time god you just go wherever mm-hmm. do whatever get into a tea shop go into a normal place so mm-hmm. the doubt is there also because oh, why will she come here man she's not <laughs> going to come to one that you know sangeeta restaurant and have uh, breakfast in the morning yeah. that that's I love doing all that yeah yeah so maybe you're right but um what about the uh, instagram sorry to cut you through but mm. what about social media comments like do you read them or do you ignore you do read them why once in a while okay not like always not like oh now in the picture kena sonnanga oh what do they say for this no okay. i read it for entertainment sake you read it and you process it or it's just something you do like a routine and you just ignore and go i mean if it's something good i take it in and i'm very grateful i'm very very grateful for it but if it's something negative i'm just like ah oh, okay fine whatever I think I've just grown up to just rub things off my shoulder like that very easily. I won't even remember man the next time yeah. someone says something like ah oh, well uh, what I'm very happy taking it out of my memory. Very selective memory and the selective memory is yeah, selective ah <laughs> go. So, good no that's good that helps. It does it does not when you have to remember birthdays and all that. <laughs> But um I don't care because like I said you know the thing is I've grown up doing the job and I think Now maybe that 17 years of my work, I didn't even I thought it was 15 years. And <laughs> you're saying 17. Yeah, like, hey, you okay, should 17. celebrate it. You should like at least throw a party, invite your friends over, and do something about it. I, I throw a be... party, but not for 17 years. <laughs> I think that's totally a big deal. I feel like that experience yeah. has led me to know, decipher what needs to be taken in and what needs to be shoved. Good point. Very good point. Yeah. People don't affect me as much anymore. If someone wants me to be a part of the film, they will think about it. It was this close, okay? I was like, I'm not moving. Do not move. What are you doing? Don't move. Okay. <laughs> as a South Indian, and that with my mom managing my thing, I have been underpaid mm. for the work that I've done. I can say that. I mean, why can't I? 
Pictures, pictures, means I, I, oh, <laughs> still on the internet. I'm going to watch part of the internet. It's still there, yeah, yeah. still haunts me. 